Hey there, welcome back to Dakota News Now. It is now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors. Joining me as always, the expert Doug Schroeder from Lewis. And uh, Doug, looks like we're talking about uh, some potted plants today. Potted plants, yes. This time of year, I'm usually driving around our area and uh, looking at different people's plants and noticing that a few things are starting to fail. This heat that we're having right now, uh, unless you water probably a couple times a day, you're gonna have some plants suffering a little bit. And that's what you were saying, one of the biggest issues is sometimes people plant in too small of a container. Too small of a container, I see it all over town. If you have exposure to the west or the south, I re really recommend using large containers. Uh, you get a lot of heat in those areas, um, give your plants a chance with larger soil mass that'll hold that moisture and uh, give them a little opportunity to thrive. And if you're watering them a lot, if they're in a smaller container, then you're gonna have to replace those nutrients too. Exactly, exactly. If anything you water uh, on that uh, regular basis, you're gonna need to give it fertilizer. It'd be like a human just living off water. After a while, you're gonna start failing because you need some other nutrients, some other substance to, uh, to survive. And let's say like you need to maybe add a little bit more dirt or something like that. You want to make sure you choose a good quality dirt. Yes, that's the beginning foundation as you and I talk all the time. Uh, the beginning part is good soil. That gives your plant a foundation for the whole season to uh, grow and to uh, actually hold some of the moisture into the uh, container. And we were talking before we started today, uh, maybe a good idea to kind of pick a maybe more drought tolerant plant? Yes, um, I, everything you see here today that I planted, uh, lantana, petunia, uh, sedum, cannas, are all drought tolerant. When I say drought tolerant, they take a little less water, they will survive high heat, but you still need to water. That's why I, I hesitate to say this plant's drought tolerant. A lot of people will take that, that I can get by without watering. And you know, the, your plants may be struggling in the containers, but weeds might be able to latch in there and grow too, right? Right, right, exactly, exactly. And um, one other thing to check this time of the year is this year, more than any other year, I've seen a lot of insects. A lot of insects can be um, organically removed. If you're gonna use an insecticide, use it in the late evening when our pollinators aren't quite so active. Uh, Japanese beetles still an issue for some plants? Japanese beetle, just had a report of it the other day. They sent me a picture, um, asked me what this is and I, it was Japanese beetle. So yes, there is uh, activity throughout the city. But again, good idea to do that late in the evening so you avoid the bees and the other pollinators. It, exactly, let's protect them. Uh, if it is an insect that you can control organically, I re recommend that. Uh, if it, you use an insecticide, use it responsibly. All right, Doug, anything else to add here today? No, uh, just, you know, next year, um, do some research on what you're going to plant and the size of container. Uh, look at the side of the house you're going to have your containers and uh, hopefully a very successful year. And hopefully we won't have these 100 and 105 degree yes. days anymore. Yes. All right, Doug, thank you so much. We're going to have everything about this online at dakotanewsnow.com right after the show. But make sure you stick around. We have Fastcast coming up next.